Hi, this is Josh Olson. You're watching Trailers from Hell, and today we're going to climb down into a deep, dark hole with Billy Wilder and Kirk Douglas. It's the Big Carnival, also known as Ace in the Hole. Quiet, everybody! Listen to me! Listen! Billy Wilder was one of those rare filmmakers who was equally comfortable and equally adept walking on the dark side of the street as the light. He helped a fine film noir with a magnificent double indemnity, then beat Tootsie to the punch by 25 years with a hilarious cross-dressing comedy, Some Like It Hot. He also made such classics as Stalag 17, Sabrina, and The Apartment, which kind of walks on both sides of the street. He was one of Hollywood's most reliable hit makers and a director with a singular personal vision. But this is Ace in the Hole, also known as The Big Carnival, his biggest commercial flop, and for my money, his finest film. Kirk Douglas plays a gung-ho reporter who's down on his luck and comes across a guy trapped in a collapsed mine and decides that he's going to turn it into a big story. He sees it as his ticket back to the big time and starts tweaking the story to, to drag it out, to keep the guy in the hole longer so that he can get the most out of it, risking the guy's life so that he, Kirk Douglas, can get back into the big time. It's an amazing performance. You, you have to have a movie star in the lead for something like this to work because he's such a bastard and yet Douglas is so compelling and he owns the screen. Uh, we stick with him inexplicably. We, we follow him. We actually care about him. It takes real confidence for a star to take on this sort of part and Douglas clearly had that in spades. Why don't you wash that platinum out of your hair? Phony, below the belt journalism, that's what it is. Not below the belt, right in the gut, Mr. Boot. Human interest. Nothing you've ever seen before has the tremendous human interest of Ace in the Hole. From a visual standpoint, Wilder was a very straight up meat and potatoes director. The camera's always where it needs to be to tell the story. He was a writer first. When people talk about great Wilder scenes, they talk about characters and dialogue, not shots. He wasn't Hitchcock, where you could spend hours talking about the amazing shots and the pacing or great camera moves. But Ace in the Hole does actually have one or two shots that are the most stylized of his career, especially the last one of Kirk Douglas. It's a powerful movie, very dark. Uh, it's a full-on assault on the media and how they influence and become the stories they're supposed to be just covering. And it just didn't click with audiences. It was probably too grim for them, which is a shame. But you have to give credit to Wilder for making it and to Kirk Douglas for being so willing to play with his image. This was a movie star who did not play it safe. And as a result, we're still enjoying his movies today.